Welcome to your retirement, Bob Millis. We'd like to put together a retrospective of your entire life, but uh, we don't have the Discovery Channel's budget, so we only have a few minutes. So we thought we'd start out by talking to some community members about your contributions. Bob has been one of those people that you could just count on. I know that when he sets his mind to doing something, you can, you can take that to the bank, so to say. Bob will, will make it happen. He's made such a tremendous contribution to this community, and I expect that he will continue to make contribution to the community or wherever he chooses to make that contribution. And I fully expect that he will continue to be a leader. I check my records and I don't think we've had to arrest him more than a couple times. <laughs> there were several testaments to your dry sense of humor. Bob would would come to a meeting and we would know that he would have a uh, he'd have a story or he'd have a joke and uh, some people call him uh, you know shaggy dog joke some people call him relatively dry and I asked the question yesterday uh, people can you what about Bob? Remember Bob Millis? We're going to do this thing to help him along. And uh, they said, well, yeah, he used to tell those jokes. And uh, we used to tolerate and get through. And I said, can anybody remember one of these jokes? And, well, no, that's the joke. There are a lot of things I remember about your time here at the observatory. One is a story years ago when we were having a sexual harassment training. And um, you got up in front of a small group and informed everybody but that you were afraid to touch yourself, let alone anybody else. But most people that we spoke to spoke about your leadership. Whether it was a community member or a member of the Lowell family, they gave testament to your quiet leadership behind the scenes making everything happen. I think Lowell Observatory is going to uh, miss him dearly. I know that um, through his leadership they've accomplished so much and um, certainly Bob has been a great uh, leader and we wish him the best in his retirement. Well, he was a very, very active, well-organized, behind-the-scenes person. Uh, he, uh, he heavily, uh, almost, almost single-handedly uh, handles the uh, Christmas tree cutting thing because not only did he cut trees, he sold trees, he stored the trees, and we used his truck and trailer. So uh, a, a good asset for us. And he was active also in our pancake breakfast. He can flip a blackjack as good as anybody else. I hope Bob takes some time for himself and his family. He's given so much to the observatory and continues to give so much to the city of Flagstaff. But, but in all seriousness, I really hope that Bob takes time to value and sit back and enjoy the good work that he's done and to be able to reflect on it and, and really continue his good work, I'm sure, with Science Foundation Arizona. When you look at a sum of a man's life, 44 years as an astronomer, um, 20 years plus as a leader of an institution, I think I can speak on behalf of a lot of others here at the observatory um, who say thank you for all you've done. We'll miss your leadership, uh, but not miss your friendship because we hope that we'll be able to see you here for other future events. I would personally like to thank you, Bob, for taking me as a very young development director and trusting me enough to make a few mistakes here and there because I definitely learned from every single one of them. You are a great boss to work for, and it was a privilege to work here at Lowell Observatory. I'm sure you've heard stories in the past few months, and we'll hear several more today that hopefully will be a testament to how much we've all enjoyed working with you and how much we all wish you well in your retirement. Best of luck, Bob, and enjoy. I want you to go out and buy that Porsche that you have coveted for all these many years. Just carpe diem, just seize the day, don't ask Julie, just go buy that Porsche and live it up. Julie does have an airplane though, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she does have to keep up with, or he has to keep up with her. But we do want to sincerely thank you for all you have done for Lowell. And outside of Lowell, you have really brought the community to Lowell and Lowell to the community. So um, lots of wonderful things have happened and um, you will continue to have many many things happen under your um, guidance in this community. We thank you. Thanks, Bob. Enjoy your retirement. I wish you the best. I hope that you will take the time to do all the things you've wanted to do and never had the time to do. Everything from bungee jumps, jumping to relaxing on a beach, sipping a pina colada. Make sure you do it all, Bob. And thanks a lot for everything you've done for all of us in Flagstaff. The best is yet to come, and I can tell. I mean, you are, you're ripe 
you are ready to go, and uh, I know your retirement is going to be a wild ride. Good luck, and, and, and congratulations on a well-deserved uh, uh, retirement. But I know that uh, the observatory uh, will miss you, but uh, we know that uh, you've done great work, and, and that will never be forgotten. Bob, have fun. You've done an incredible job for this community. I look forward to seeing how you carry that leadership forward. Bob is a brave soul. He, uh, he allowed Julie to, uh, to go and get her pilot training uh, kind of late in life. And uh, in addition, he has actually flown with her. And so uh, our advice is no backseat driving, Bob. I've had three professional librarian jobs, um, Hercules Chemical, W.L. Gore, and here at Lowell Observatory. And um, this has third time was really a charm. Um, I love working here and I've loved working with you. And I'm going to start to cry because I am going to really miss you. So thanks for being a wonderful director and a great boss.